We're here at Wooden Boat Library in Brooklyn, Maine. This is not a lending library. It's a very tightly controlled reference library for students of wooden boats. These books are not available to anybody except those who have permission from the librarian, Pat Lown. Wooden Boat was founded 40 years ago by John Wilson and is still going strong here in Maine, published six times per year. There's a flourishing boat building school here, the Wooden Boat Store, and several related publications, Small Boats and Professional Boat Builder. John Wilson asked me to find material in these rare books that, that would be of interest to Wooden Boat readers. I will be going through these books and publications, finding ways to contextualize the forgotten treasures and dusting off the illustrations and putting them up in our new corner of the Wooden Boat website. If you like, I'll open the cabinet and we'll have a look at the rare books. This is a book by uh, Cole Estep from uh, 1918. Cole Estep was the editor of the Marine Review. It's called How Wooden Ships Are Built, and it's a practical treatise on uh, large ship construction that took place on the West Coast. Uh, in the lead up to World War One, and uh, kind of represents the highest form of large wooden shipbuilding, maybe ever. I was talking to Maynard Bray about uh, this book by Estep, and he remarked, uh, what a waste of lumber, not to mention a waste of uh, good labor, because all of many of these ships were uh, lost at sea just a couple of months after they were launched uh, in, in the course of the of World War One. In this uh, photo, figure 84, in this photo you can see the uh, scale of these ships. This is the stem of a large vessel. The guy is uh, working on a very large natural knee set there in the stem. There's four people in this photo and it gives a sense of the scale of these ships. This small section here shows a piece of raw timber coming into the shipyard. These guys are hewing it in preparation for a uh, quarter piece in the transom, a large ship. Here's the finished piece, and here's the piece, this white section, set in place in the ship. Here's a charming book uh, by C.G. Davis called How to Design a Yacht. It was published by Rudder Magazine in 1906. And he was a illustrator and writer for Rudder Magazine. And he tells you how to make sure that your yacht is beautiful and what, means, what it means to have a, a beautiful boat. He's got a number of bow and stern illustrations and shows why they are hom harmonious together, um, how a sheer line should be shaped in order to get a beautiful boat and not an ugly one. He also has 24 illustrations of boats that he admires. Here's one named Dragoon, very shallow 34-foot waterline boat. Here's a picture of him making his way down Pamlico Sound, all light sail set. He's got the spinnaker pole made out of two bunk boards that he took from down below to get a little bit more speed going down Pamlico Sound. All right, this is um, Hextall Smith's collection of contemporary art from 1920, Yachts and Yachting in Contemporary Art. There's one in particular that I really love. This one is called The Ladies' Race by Charles Pierce. And the title of this painting is The Ladies' Race, plural, suggesting that the other racing yachts shown with balloon jibs trimmed shy here in the jackyard topsail set and drawing, are also under the guiding hand of a woman at the helm. In our new website, we'll look at the painter, Charles Pierce. This one, a lot of people's favorites. This is Dixon Kemp. Dixon Kemp wrote this weighty volume, a manual of yacht and boat sailing, was first published in 1878. It's in the public domain. 
The jovial Mr. Kemp was a journalist and a great authority on early yachting based in Cowes. He edited nine editions of this manual of yacht and boat sailing before his death in 1899. This is the Fife Schooner Sicily, 134 feet. You've seen only a small part of what we're doing in the new corner of WoodenBoat.com. I'll be posting my discoveries from the Rare Book Library for Wooden Boat Magazine subscribers in a tab called Subscriber Only Content. If you're a current subscriber to Wooden Boat Magazine, then you are already subscribed to the new site. Check back as things develop digitally. We'll be adding new material to the site soon. We look forward to opening these volumes and these shelves to you in digital form. Thanks to Heather Holloway for helping us uh, make this short video to show you what you can find on the Wooden Boat subscriber site. If you go to woodenboat.com, you'll see the new subscriber site there.